Hi kids, go tie it here. Before we start chapters five through eight of our story, Go Tie It is a riot all about me and AJ and Ryan and Michael and Andrea and Emily. I want you to do a workout, a warm up, so you're ready to read. First, I want you to drop down right now and give me 500 sit ups. After that, while you're down there on the floor, go ahead and do the crab walk for 10 minutes. Then you're gonna stand up and you're gonna run around your house backwards for 20 minutes. I don't care what your mom, dad, grandma, brothers and sisters say, you're gonna do it. You're gonna be in tip top shape to read this story. Now we're in the middle of the story at this point. So you should know the characters, you should know the setting, and you should know all the problems that this team, the Moose, have. They got lots and lots of problems. The middle of the story will give you the solution to these problems. And I'm not the problem, even though AJ thinks I am. I made him do 5,000 mountain climbers for that. Anyway, pay attention to the solutions that are coming up in chapters five through eight and make predictions about what is gonna happen at the end of the story to the moose. Now, we're ready to go. Chapters five through eight are coming up. Ready, set. Chapter five, dancing in the end zone. When we arrived from our next practice, Andrea and girly cheerleaders were practicing their routines at the other end of the field. Losing, winning, we won't lie. We're most happy with the tie. Go Moose! What a lame cheer. Finally, Coach Hyatt showed up in her Mini Cooper with her nose-picking son, Wyatt Hyatt. There was a guy sitting in the car with them, but he didn't get out. Hmm, that was weird. Coach Hyatt blew her whistle. Line up! Are we gonna pick your car up again today? Asked Neil. No! The coach barked. Today you ragamuffins are going to learn the most important part of football. How to do an end zone dance. A what? Asked Ryan. After you score a touchdown, you have to do a dance in the end zone. Coach Hyatt said. Then, Coach Hyatt showed us her end zone dance. She shook her butt, lifted a leg over her head, hopped up and down for a while, and then put her hands in the air and waved them around like a crazy person. Coach Hyatt is a riot! Now you try, she told us. We all shook our butts, lifted one of our legs over our heads, hopped up and down for a while, and put our hands in the air and waved them around like crazy people. Wyatt just picked his nose. Can we have some Gatorade now? Asked Ryan. No, barked Coach Hyatt. After we learned the end zone dance, the coach went to our car. Remember that guy who was sitting in it? Well, it turned out he wasn't a guy at all. And he wasn't a girl either. He was a dummy. This is my friend Elvis, Coach Hyatt said as she carried the dummy over to us. Sure enough, the dummy looked just like the real Elvis. It sounded like him too. Coach Hyatt pushed a button on the back of the dummy and it started singing. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Coach Hyatt said we were going to use Elvis to practice our tackling. Tackling is fun because you Get to knock the dummy on its butt. We all lined up to tackle Elvis. I got to go first because my name begins with an A. Okay, AJ, said Coach Hyatt. I want you to pretend this is somebody you really hate. That was easy. I'm gonna pretend it's Andrea, I told the guys. You ain't nothing but a hound dog, sang Elvis. I pretended that the Elvis dummy was Andrea and rammed it as hard as I could. 
don't be cruel. Saying how this is I got off him. Ooh, I'm all shook up. Good job, AJ, said Coach Hyatt. Each of us got to tackle the Elvis dummy five times. It was cool. Coach Hyatt showed us how to go for the legs so the runner would fall down. Wyatt just picked his nose. Doesn't that kid ever run out of boogers? When we were finished, the coach blew her whistle and said we could take a drink from the Gatorade jug. That's when Little Miss Perfect came over. She had on a cheerleading uniform and was holding pom-poms in her hands. That was a very really violent exercise you were doing, Andrea told us. Is it really necessary to hit the dummy so hard? I think that leads to violent behavior in children. Can you possibly be more boring? I asked Andrea. Why don't you go to, back to your side of the field and work on your lame cheers? Huh, said Andrea. Then she stormed off to do more lame cheers with her friends. We don't hate and we don't boo. We respect the other team too. Go Moose! After everybody had some Gatorade, Coach Hyas taught us how to punt the ball. Punting is hard. I punted the ball really far, but I couldn't make it go straight. One of my punts landed over near the cheerleaders. Andrea picked it up. I remembered the last time she got her hands on the ball. She threw it over our heads. Don't throw it, I told Andrea. Just bring it back. What's the magic word, Arlo? Asked Andrea. Now, I yelled. Well, okay, Andrea said, but you're going to have to tackle me for it. Me and the guys laughed. A cheerleader thought she could run past a bunch of trained football players. Ha! I'd like to see you try, I yelled. Andrea started running toward us. Get her, I yelled. Andrea faked out Michael. Then she faked out Ryan. Then she faked out Neil. Andrea was faking out everybody. She was running down the field and nobody could stop her. Nobody but me, that is. After she faked everybody else out, I was the only player between Andrea and the goal line. You're not getting past me, I told her. Oh, yes, I am, Arlo. Oh, no, you're not, I told Andrea. We went back and forth like that for a while. Then Andrea faked left, then she faked right, then she faked left again. But I wasn't going to fall for her lame fakes. I grabbed her legs and slammed her to the ground. All the guys cheered. Ooh, Brian said. AJ tackled Andrea. They must be in love. When are you all going to get married? Asked Michael. If these guys weren't my best friends, I would hate them. Chapter 6 Rufus the Doofus Coach Hyatt showed us at our next practice with Wyatt the Nose Picker. A big brown rubber thing was strapped to the roof of the Mini Cooper. What's that big brown rubber thing? We all asked. Last time I told you ragamuffins about the end zone dance, the coach said. Today, I want to talk to you about another very important part of football. The blimp. You got a blimp? Asked Ryan. We all got excited because blimps are cool. Not exactly. Not exactly. Coach Hyatt said as she took the big brown rubber thing off the roof of her car and put it in the grass. I couldn't get a blimp, but I got something even better. What is it? Michael asked. Oh, you'll see, said Coach Hyatt. She attached a bike pump to the big brown rubber thing and started pumping air into it. It got bigger and bigger. And you'll never believe in a million hundred years what it turned out to be. It was a giant inflatable moose. This is Rufus, said Coach Hyatt. 
He's our mascot. I call him Rufus T. Moose. The T stands for the. Rufus the Moose will float over the field and inspire us to victory. Where'd you get him? I asked. Renna Moose? No, Renna Blimp, Coach Hyatt said. Some other team got the blimp. The last blimp. So, I was able to get a discount on Rufus. Isn't he awesome? No, he wasn't. Rufus the Moose was kind of wrinkled and one of his antlers looked like it was about to fall off. Rufus the Doofus was more like it. I didn't tell Coach Hyatt that her moose was named because I didn't want to hurt her feelings. The coach tied Rufus the Doofus to a tree so he wouldn't blow away. Then she wheeled a big whiteboard out of the equipment shed. It was like the whiteboards we used at school. It's time to go over some plays, Coach Hyatt told us. She drew a bunch of X's and O's on the board to represent the players on our team and another team. Then she drew lines to show where each of us was supposed to run. We went over a bunch of running plays and passing plays. I knew most of them already from last season. And now, the coach said as she looked around to make sure nobody was watching, I'm going to show you the secret play. Ooh, we all leaned forward. Secret plays are cool. Well, anything involving a secret is cool. Coach Hyatt began drawing lines all over the board. AJ, you're the quarterback, so you go here, she barked. Ryan, you go here. Michael, you go here. Neil, you go here. Wyatt, you go here. Wyatt will hike the ball to AJ. AJ will flip it to Ryan. Ryan will pass it to Michael. Michael will lateral it to Neil. Neil will hand it off to Wyatt. Wyatt will run it into the end zone for a touchdown. You got it? Got it! We all shouted, even though none of us got it. Coach Hyatt's secret play made no sense at all, but none of us wanted to look dumb. Okay, let's try it said Coach Hyatt. We all got into position. Hot one, I shouted. Hot two. Hike. And we all ran in the other direction. Actually, we all ran into each other. It was a big mess of kids in a gigantic pile. There were arms and legs flailing around. It looked like one of the tanks full of lobsters you see in the supermarket. Unfortunately, I was the lobster at the bottom. Ow! My leg! I yelled. Walk it off, AJ! Coach Hyatt barked when the last kid climbed off me. I think my leg might be broken, I said. Broken! Barked the coach. When I was your age, if my leg was broken, I would go out and build a log cabin with my bare hands. What did that have to do with anything? I thought I was gonna die. Chapter 7, The Sharks Luckily, my leg wasn't broken after all. It was just a little sore. We practiced really hard that week until we knew all the plays. Finally, it was time for our first game. We were playing a team called the Sharks. It was a beautiful Saturday. When we came out of the locker room, there was Rufus the Doofus floating over the field. And you'll never believe in a million hundred years what was floating in the air right next to Rufus. A blimp! And you know what it said on the side of the blimp? Go sharks! How come the sharks got a blimp and we got a lame inflatable moose? It totally wasn't fair. Andrea and the other cheerleaders were on the sideline with their pom-poms. Football has a kicker, baseball has a batter. Whatever game we play, the score, it doesn't matter. 
go, Moose! What a lame cheer. The bleachers were filled with parents and their cameras. A few moms were selling cookies. Some of the teachers from our school were there too. Miss Holly, Mr. Mackey, Miss Coco, Miss Hannah, Mr. Loring. I spotted my teacher, Mr. Granite. He comes from another planet called Etinarg. Me and the guys ran over to say hello to him. Do they have football at Etinarg? Asked Michael. Oh no, Mr. Granite said. We play a game called Lolo Tooth. How do you play that? Neil asked. Well, it's simple, Mr. Granite told us. There are 13 glops on each dodge, and they toss a pinker back and forth to see who can score the most flukes. Then when it gets to Urgle or Flangy. That game sounded really weird. I wanted to ask Mr. Granite more about Little Tooth, but that's when the sharks came out of their locker room. They had a blue uniform. We all start, stared as they jogged on the field. Wow, Ryan said. Those guys are huge. He was right. The sharks didn't look like they were humans. Their arms were bigger than my legs. Even their muscles had muscles. No way these guys weigh 70 pounds, said Michael. They look like they're in the seventh grade, said Neil the new kid. We can't beat them, said Ryan. They're gonna kill us. Can't we just pick up their car and carry it away? I suggested. Well, they all came in a bus, dumb head, said Ryan. Well, they're awfully big, coach, Michael said. The bigger they come, the harder they fall, Coach Hyatt told us. Yeah, but they're gonna fall on us. I said, and we're gonna die. Wyatt just picked his nose. I'll tell you, that kid must have an unlimited supply of luggers. Andrea and the other cheerleaders made one of their lame cheers again. Winning, losing, it depends. Why can't we just all be friends? Go Moose! When the Sharks came out, their cheerleaders on the other side of the field started doing a cheer of their own. It didn't rhyme or anything, but it sounded a lot better than our cheers. Kill! 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 Crush the moose! Stop them! Rip their faces off! Remove their internal organs! My life is over, I told the guys. Okay, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed chapter five, six, and seven of Coach Hyde as a Riot about me. Now, unfortunately, there weren't many answers and solutions to the problems that the moose face in this story. There seemed to be way more questions, way more problems that showed up in chapters five, six, and seven. But some of the things your librarian, Miss Bell, is going to have you do on Schoology are answer a few questions about the story. Like, what have I done, Coach Hyatt, to make the team better? What ways have I shown them to do better in football? Also, what are some things I've gotten for the team that's given them more team spirit? Also, Ms. Bell's going to ask you to put some pictures or information about Elvis Presley in Schoology. I'll be showing you how to do that in just a minute. A lot of you don't know who Elvis Presley was, so you should look him up. Very famous, very real person. Now, another thing you're going to be doing is trying to decide what's going to happen in the rest of the story. Make some predictions. Because AJ, he's a little bit jealous of somebody in the story. He even chased that person around the field. You're going to be answering questions about why you think he's jealous of this character and what you think is going to happen with this character later on in the story. So, in just a minute, 
I'm gonna have you guys go on out and pick up my car. Ready? All right, here we go. Here we go, let's go, out the door. Okay, so here we are in Schoology. So remember, you have to go here first, seaver.schoology.com. And then you would go to courses. You would find media instructional tech right here. That's what it says right here, media instructional tech. You would click on it for your class number, which will come up automatically after you sign in. Then let me show you how to add a picture. But first, let's look up me, Coach Hyatt. We're gonna put in Coach Hyatt. And we're gonna go to images. So, ooh, I like that. There we go. So I'm gonna go over to the picture, right click on it, save the image. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my name, Coach Hyatt. Save it into pictures. Then go back to Schoology. Now, we're gonna go ahead and click here where it says post, and then we go down to file. Now, you gotta find your picture that's saved in your computer. And it was Coach Hyatt, me. Let's see if we can find it. Okay, then I double click on it. It's gonna say the name of the picture. And then I'm gonna post it to the same room that Ms. Bell has been posting everything to. Room 124. We're gonna do that right there. And then when we click post, the picture is right here. So if you look up anything and Ms. Bell asks you to put a picture, you can do that. Now, in order to also do a web page like this one, no, we don't wanna do that one. Uh, let's see. Ooh, here. This is a good one. We would go ahead and click on the web page. And then we could copy the link. So we do control C to copy it. Then we go back here. Now, in order to do a link, you go to the next one called link. And then you paste in the address. Oh my goodness, didn't work. I don't know why. Fooey, you silly thing. Hmm. Let's try again. Do link. Trying to embed that link. There it is. Okay, I pasted it in. If you want to put a tile, title, you can do that. And then you just click attach. The link's there. And then we're gonna post it once again to room 124, which would be a third grade group. If I can find it, Miss Coach Hyatt is lost. Then we click right here, click select. You won't have to worry about that. You just have to worry about going to file for pictures or link for a website, then you would hit post. And there you go, there's a link to where you can find out about my book or buy it if you wanted to. And that is it, that's all. And no, we don't want any coupons. Thank you very much, no thank you. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you next week for chapters eight, nine, and 10. That will finish up our fabulous story about me, Coach Hyatt is a riot.